one of the questions I get frequently asked is how do I have so many fish? Like if you look at some of these fish, I have insane numbers, over a thousand or some of them. And people question me, how do I have all these? Like where am I getting these all from? How, how do you have so many fish? The simple answer is the fish farm. And to show you what I mean, I'll go there now. Okay, I don't actually have any cat food, but... Alright, fish farm. Now I've already done a video on the fish farm, but that was more or less about what fish to keep. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'd recommend it. However, this is about the fish farm and what you should do with the fish farm. As you can see, a bunch of these have jumped up quite it's considerably in numbers. What I normally like to do is literally just send them back down to 10 as soon as every single time. By keeping 10 is rather efficient, don't take up too much space, but at the same time, get good results. If I have larger fish like this, I, I want to keep four of them. I should really up those to four, but I don't have the room at the moment. I'm kind of trying to leave the extra capacity. If you get all the fish that I'm working on and getting dishes for, have ten. That's really all there is to it. Over here you'll see something ridiculous with my red dreams, but I actually keep 30 of them, purely because I have room for it. Similarly, I keep 10 Rhino Trimera Day now, purely just because I want to. I really do want to up the number of clown frogfish I keep in here, that'll be after I get rid of some of these other ones. In fact, I probably could get rid of some of these other ones because also up the number of cuttlefish as well. But mainly because a bunch of these I don't really need anymore. This tank I probably should increase the numbers of them quite significantly. Not that I need to, but if I wanted more of them, I could increase more. Similarly, there's stuff I can remove from these tanks that I really don't need to get fish to work in the recipe for. But yeah, basically the main tip of the fish farm is, although it says you need two of each fish to breed, really it works a lot more when you have more than two. You want at least ten of the small fish, at least four of the larger fish, you can even go up to 30 or 50 if you really want to. There is no limit. The only limit is the capacity of the fish farm. So as long as you keep your capacity in check and don't let the fish get too out of hand, you should have it really easy. But basically, as you can see here, I'm literally just sending all this extra extra excess fish to my restaurant. You know, they're giving me like 20, 30, 10 meat chunks per, and I'm going here every single morning. You want to check this every morning, you want to empty it out every morning. Get rid of the, all your spare stuff, make sure it's back down to the population you had it at the beginning. What would be a really cool quality of life feature that I hope they had is um, when it comes up with um, the new fish, Ah, oh, these fish are patched. You should have a send all new option. So you just send all new to the restaurant. I guess that would be my way of tackling that problem. Because as you saw, I have to do quite a lot of inventory management there while I was scrolling through, pressing buttons, pressing loads of buttons. And yeah, it really weren't that great. As you can see, when I go back to my sushi restaurant, see, when I get back to my sushi restaurant, I have the, oh, you have this much stuff come in. And as you can see, there's a lot. And you're basically just getting a list like this every single day, where it's like, yep, you've got this much more of this, this much more of this. You know, in 10 days, that's 200 of that fish. In 100 days, that's 2,000 of the fish. Now, not many people are going to be playing for 100 days, but 
as you can probably tell by my calendar being in May, I have played for the 100 days. So, where I have so many fish is literally because, well, yeah, I've just been in the game so long that it's just given me all those fish. Like, I've had that fish farm running like that since probably the end of October, start of November in the game. So that fish farm has just been going for months and months and months and months. All the way up until now. Hey! Time flies, eh? Fair, not the point. The point being is that's how to get a load of fish from the fish farm. If you keep doing that, eventually end up with well, ridiculous amounts of fish like this. And the upgraded menu video is coming, it's just taken a while to get there. As you can probably tell. I have a few more dishes to upgrade. Starting to close out. Yeah, that's about it. Have a good day.